Hello guys, I'm Dorian, uh, you can call me Dodo, and I speak Italian, French, Spanish, English, Portuguese, and a little bit of uh, Indonesian and Swahili here and there. Today, we are talking about some good reasons to learn Italian, which uh, could seem a pretty useless language, because you, don't, you just speak it in Italy. But Italian is the fundamental Latin language, so once you learn Italian, it's going to be super easy to jump to Spanish, Portuguese, and then French. So, yeah, go and learn Italian. Also, uh, if you speak Italian, you can just drop by my grandma and you'll have free meatballs. The fundamentals that uh, you really have to master is to be and to have. Essere and avere. If you know those, it's going to be very easy for you to say I am this, I am that, um, I have this, I have that, and will allow you to express so many things. I will first focus on me and you. So, sono Dorian, and let's say you are called Giacomo. Sono Dorian, sei Giacomo. Ho 28 anni, hai 23 anni. In Italian we say I have my age, I have 28 years old. In Italian, we also own our feelings and emotions. So we say, uh, I have uh, sleepiness or I have hunger. So you see, to be and to have will allow you to say basically everything that you need to say. So let's now speak about dating and making friends and just introducing yourself. Two very important things are to be and to have. You say, I am Dorian. I have 28 years of age. Another important thing that you can use is uh, saying what do you like. For example, mi piace, I like l'avventura, il surf, and then list all the sports, foods and activities that you like uh, to see if you have something in common and then we'll just start uh, talking about that and uh, who knows what can happen next. Let me tell you five things I like. Mi piace il surf, mi piace l'avventura, mi piace la musica techno, mi piace, uh, I was gonna say mi piace la mamma, but io amo la mamma. I love my mom. Uh, something else that I like, oh, matcha frappuccinos, my favorite. Um, e cos'altro mi piace? Mi piace l'Indonesia. So yeah, that's five things I like. What do you like? Cosa ti piace? Write it in the comments. Everybody says that Italian people speak with their hands, and that is totally true. We were the first to do that, and not American rappers. Let me teach you three things that we say with our hands. Well, of course, the what the hell, most famous one. My mom always used to do this, which used to mean that I'm in trouble. And then a third one, oh, this one is a very rare one. It's, it's kind of forgotten. It's this, which means, mmm, the food is good. If you use these uh, hand gestures with Italian, they will feel like you and them are the same family. Especially if you do this, because this is really old school and people will just get teletransported to another time and gonna be like, oh, you were there with me and uh, you'll create a forever bond. So you've probably heard about espresso, cappuccino, affogato. All those are Italian uh, terms to describe, well, Italian ways of making coffee. Let's start with the most famous espresso, which just means express, quick. You make it quick, you drink it quick, and you're out. Then we have cappuccino, which means little cappuccio. Cappuccio is like a little hat. I'm not sure why it's called like that. Anyway, and then we have affogato, which uh, is a bit of a tragic term because it literally means the drone one. <laughs> so uh, it means, you know, the, for the affogato, you put ice cream and then you drone the ice cream in coffee. So that's where affogato coming from, personal favorite. So now imagine you're in Italy and you want to order an espresso. How will you do that? It's very easy. Just say un espresso per favore. And whatever you want, just add per favore after 
and uh, everybody will be glad to bring you whatever you ask for. So, here are some suggestions to learn Italian. First of all, the basics. You have to know to be and to have. That's a great start. Then you can also learn masculine and feminine. Great continuation. And then, very important in my opinion, is to dive into the language and the culture. So listen to Italian music, watch Italian films, listen to Italian podcasts too, whatever it is, just have it around you. You can also have it in the background, you don't have to be actively studying. Just have it around, dive in the culture and the language. If I can give a suggestion, uh, watch Fellini's movies, Italian master of cinema. Those are really good, a bit surreal, very funny, so that's a nice watch. If you want some music to study Italian, I suggest to you the classics. Uh, for example, Nel Blu, Dipinto di Blu from Modugno. Or if you want to go a little bit more contemporary, hipster, hip hop, electronic, you can listen to Mahmoud, personal favorite, and Coma Cose, incredible poetry. A bit tricky. Uh, but, you know, if you love the music, then you'll just listen and listen and listen and that's how you're gonna learn. So, that's it guys. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next video. Non arrendetevi mai, which means never give up.